on his first working day in the Oval Office. And Donald Trump confirmed himself to be America's protectionist in chief. Withdrawal uh, from the United, of the United States from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. This executive order terminates a free trade deal with Pacific nations. Everyone knows what that means, right? We've been talking about this for a long time. Thank you. Okay. The president is also expected to walk away from the North American trade deal, a move that will end the flow of goods tariff-free between the U.S., Canada and Mexico. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Earlier today, the president was meeting with some of America's most prominent business leaders, at times extolling his own virtues. I'm a very a big person when it comes to the environment. I've received awards on the envir environment. But while also warning of the consequences of defying him and moving jobs or factories overseas. We are going to be imposing a very major border tax on the product when it comes in, which I think is fair, which is fair. So a company that wants to fire all of its people in the United States and build some factory someplace else and then thinks that that product is going to just flow across the border into the United States, that's not going to happen. Here we are. At the first press briefing of the Trump presidency, his spokesman continued to express frustration about the reporting on the crowd size at the inauguration, saying it was part of an anti-Trump media agenda. The default narrative is always negative, and it's demoralizing. There is this constant theme to undercut the enormous support that he has. And I think it's just unbelievably frustrating when you're continually told it's not big enough, it's not good enough, you can't win. After his statement on Saturday that had included multiple falsehoods, Spicer was asked if he would now always tell the truth. And he suggested the facts themselves could be debated. I believe that we have to be honest with the American people. I think sometimes we can disagree with the facts. But he also had a warning for China, saying America would not accept the militarization of disputed islands. If those islands are in fact in international waters and not part of China proper, then yeah, we're going to make sure that we defend um, international territories from being taken over by one country. Please, please rise. Meanwhile, the administration is continuing to be buffeted by leaks and rumors. According to reports, the new National Security Advisor, General Mike Flynn, here being sworn in yesterday, is being investigated by counterintelligence agencies over links with Russia. Thank you very much. The president is now ushering in an entirely new era, attacking the very foundations of free trade and globalization. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.